All right, welcome. Now, as I promised you, I'm gonna share with you what I consider to be the producer's formula, how to go about creating and producing kick butt results in anything. And I mean absolutely anything, because at the end of the day, we all want what? We all want results. But not just any kind of results, we want our ideal results. So what I wanna do is share with you a very basic but incredibly effective and powerful formula that will help you to transform yourself financially, physically, or whatever. It's exactly what I use. And every time I give this to somebody, they produce incredible results, because I do work with people with this privately, and I've helped people who over the long term have been trying to transform their bodies because they see what it is I've done. They're like, well, how the heck did you do that? Um, and then I share with them what it is I've, I've done to do it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you the core formula and thinking that I use to go about doing what it is I do to produce results. And you can take this and model it and then do with it whatever it is you want. So how do you go about producing kickback results in anything? Very simple. First thing we want to start with is focusing on our identities. Right, because remember, your identity, that's your producer's engine, right? If you come from a very negative place, then that's gonna have a negative impact on what it is you're trying to produce. Come from a positive place, then it's gonna be a what? Positive impact. So what we wanna do is make sure that we have very, very strong and supportive identity statements. And identity statements are anything that begins with I am. Anything that begins with I am is really pointing towards your identity. So make sure you construct identity statements that support your identity to help drive forward the results that you want to produce. Okay, so I have all my identity statements written out. I mean, clearly written out. I don't guess who it is I am. I know exactly who it is I am. Okay, and if you remember the video that we shared last time and I gave that clip to you, that I shared that clip from our Atlanta workshop, it should be really clear to you why the identity is important. It is the core, it is the foundation through which we do everything, okay? So you wanna make sure you have a really strong identity and to reinforce our identity, make sure that we construct the right statements. And that goes for anything and everything it is you wanna do. It doesn't matter if it's business, athletics, politics, you name it, okay? Now, there's two elements to this that are the core structure. The identity statements, that supports everything else. The first thing I have are what I call my goats, right? And it's probably like goats, not like real goats, but you may wanna write this down, G-O-A-T. These are my goats, okay? Now, let me write this in a little bit, um, a different way so you can be able to better read this. Okay, the G in goats represents the goals, okay? That's the G in goats, it represents the goals. And the goal is that North Star, that thing to which I want to achieve. Like for example, what for this year are your big primary ultimate goals? Right, that becomes the North Star. That becomes the thing that we're navigating towards, all right? Now, to support those goals, what we have is our O, which is our objectives, all right? The objectives are what I want to do, where I want to be, and by when to help me to achieve those goals. So where do I want to be, and by when, these are very specific things that you want to achieve, certain objectives that are gonna help support you reaching what you consider to be those really big goals. All right, now, to support those objectives, we come down here to our A, and our A are our activities, All right? Our activities. The activities are the things that I must do to reach my objectives to support my goals. Are you following me? My activities are the things I must do, the things that I'm choosing to do to reach my objectives to support my goals. Right Now the T, which is the final letter, are the task. Right, The task are, is the next action I must take in my activities to reach my objectives to support my goals. And that's how I break down everything. So guess what it is I'm focusing on, on the most part, for the most part? I'm focusing on this. Because the moment I take care of that, all this other stuff is going to be taken care of, right? Everything else right here is going to be taken care of as long as I'm knocking these off. Why? Because this is supporting this, this is supporting this, and this is supporting this. My tasks are supporting my activities, my activities are supporting my objectives, and my objectives are supporting my what? My goals. So I don't have to become overwhelmed with this huge goal. I know I'm going to get there, and I'm going to get there by moving the ball one yard at a time. And how do I move the ball one yard at a time? Right here, down at my task, okay? So now, once I know what my goals are, and I know what the objectives are, I know what the activities are, and I know what the tasks are, it comes down to what I call our three by 30. 
and this is very, very important, and this right here is where you start to produce the results, okay? The three by 30 is simply this. The three represents the three areas of focus, okay? Because your focus is important. You want to destroy somebody, destroy their focus. That's it. You know, because wherever your focus is, that's where everything else is going to go. Okay, but when most people talk about focus, they only talk about one dimension of focus, which is important, but it's only one of all three dimensions. The first area of focus, the one of three, is what to focus on. Okay, you need to know what to focus on. Right? And once you know what to focus on, then you need to go to the second area, which is when to focus on it. In other words, we want to schedule what it is we're focusing on. Okay, so we know what to focus on, and then we know when to focus on it. In other words, we're scheduling it. And then the third thing that we do, which represents the three, is know where to focus on it. Because not all environments are going to be supported to your focus. So it's when these three things converge that we harness the greatest power of our focus. So we want to know what to focus on, and that comes from what? Our task. Remember the goats, our goals, our objectives, our activities, and our tasks? So what to focus on is already identified because it's one of those task items, it's one of those next, a next actions to take. What we do is we schedule it next, in other words, when to focus on it, and then where to focus on it. So those three things are converging together to help us to harness the greatest power and depth of our focus. And let me tell you something, what we do is we converge these to 30 minutes. Everything I do, I do in 30 minute spurts. My workouts take no longer than 30 minutes. In fact, the average workout I do is 18 to 21 minutes. When I'm doing my meditation sessions, no longer than 30 minutes. When I'm reading, no longer than 30 minutes. I do just about everything in 30 minutes or less, unless I'm speaking or doing a workshop. But even when I have something that's long, like three, four, or five hours, I'll break them up into 30 minute spurts because anybody can do something for 30 minutes. Right, so what you do is you look at everything it is you're going to do and you say, this is what I'm focusing on, this is when I'm going to focus on it, and this is where I'm going to focus on it, and I'm going to do it for 30 minutes. And I use, let me get this for you real quick. This is what I use. And you can use it. I use this in the gym, and I use this at, you know, at my office, and when I'm out, it's called the gym boss. And the gym boss is good for interval training, and it's a, it's a timer. It counts down, it counts up, it beeps, it vibrates, it does everything. And when I'm working out, I have this on my hip because I'll do a workout that's pretty intense, but I cap it off at 30 minutes. Whether I complete all my rounds or not, it caps off at 30 minutes. When I'm working on something, if I'm writing something, when this beeps and goes off, it's 30 minutes, I'm done on that. Maybe I come up for five minutes and then I get back in for another 30 minutes. Right? If I'm doing the meditation sessions, this I don't use this for the meditation session because I already have it scheduled out with the way I, I have all of my stuff programmed that it's going to be 30 minutes or less anyway. So what you want to do is to make sure you stay on track you have something that's going to keep you on track for that 30 minutes. Now, when you get into the flow and you get a rhythm, here's the thing. It doesn't hurt you or harm you while you're in a flow to come up for breath and air and then dive back into it for another 30 minutes. In fact, you'll find that you'll be in ultimately more productive if you do it that way. Now, this is what works for me, and I have yet to find somebody that I shared this with, and it hasn't worked for them. Okay, so wrap this up. Let's sum this up. What are you going to do? You want to make sure you're really clear with your identity. You want to have identity statements. Because remember, success does not happen by accident. It's by design. That means it happens through deliberate acts. Okay? So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are proactively constructing an identity that's going to support what it is you say you want to accomplish. And you do that by writing out clearly what your identity is. And then you say that out loud, continuously, and not just out loud, but you constantly have the picture in your mind right, of who it is you are, who it is you're becoming, because your identity has to be in alignment with what it is you want to accomplish, okay? And then we want to get a really good picture of what the details are, okay? That big macro view, if you will, or the top side is the goal. What do you ultimately want to accomplish as you go into this new year? Are you going to the new business? Are you going to a new market or whatever it is you're doing? What are the goals? What are the objectives to support the goals? What are the activities to support the objective to support the goal? And then what are the tasks, those individual next actions that are going to support those activities, that support the objectives, that support the goals? Got it? And then we do our three by 30. We look at those tasks and we look at what we're going to do, right? What we're going to focus on, which comes straight from our task, all those different next actions, right? What we're going to focus on, then we schedule it when we're going to focus on it, and then we identify the location on where we're going to focus on it at. And then we dive in for 30 minute sprints, okay? And then we can come out, go back in, and come out and come back in. And I assure you, you follow this, it's very simple but extraordinarily powerful. You will be a producer and no matter what it is you look to do, you will be able to produce kick butt results pretty much in anything, all right? 
So, um, what I want to share with you in the next video, so watch for my next email, is I want to share with you how you can make more money this year than you did last year. Would you be interested in knowing what to do? Good, because I'm going to share with you what you can do to make more money this year than you did last year. But in the meantime, I want you to stay tuned and look for my email to bring you back over here to watch that video session. But in the meantime, how about sharing this video with some people? Tweet us, put us on Facebook, buzz us up or whatever. Share this with those that you care about, that you love, that you associate with. Just in other words, just help other people to become producers, right? If you have affiliates and you want them to produce, share this with them. Business partners, share this with them. Contractors, share this with them. Employees, share them with them. Parents, kids, siblings, you name it. Just share this with them, all right? And then I'll be back with you in another video where I'm going to share with you how you can do what? Make more money this year than you did last year. In the meantime, adios.